Jamaica. Let me see Jamaica become crime free. If Jamaica now we're Jamaica, we for economy. No more breathing the last thing. Revolution, say. Don't be drunk. Don't be hit. This is good for our economy. Only brand new car goes as free. When we say. Wise words there from the Minister of uh, Industry, Commerce, Agriculture and Fisheries reminding us that we ought to eat what we grow and uh, we got to grow what we eat as well. We welcome you to another AgroBuzz, our weekly agricultural program here on Durain's Coffee Break. And today we continue to focus on innovative ideas and products emerging from the agro-processing sector. Now, we all know that bees are valuable to the agriculture sector because plants need pollination to produce fruit. But did you also know that after the bees have produced honey, that that honey can also be further processed to produce wine? Yes, honey wine. It's one of the new and innovative products being promoted to investors by the Apiculture Unit of the Minister of Industry, Commerce, Agriculture and Fisheries. And uh, this to increase the number of products in the value chain of the beekeeping industry. Here to tell us some more about this is the Chief Plant Protection Officer of the Apiculture Unit, Mr. Hugh Smith. Good morning, Mr. Smith. How are you doing? Good morning, Mr. Wilkes, and good morning, Jamaica. Happy right. to be on the program. Good to have you. And, um, man, I, I've never heard about honey wine. So perhaps you can start right there. Tell me about the honeybees, or bees in general, and uh, why they're so important to agriculture, first of all. All right. Um, bees are really important to agriculture because it has something to do with the health of, of the the general plants that we have around. Um, pollination is critical to have a healthy plants. Um, and you know that if you don't have healthy plants, productive plants, then our national production in terms of what we produce as food would simply decrease. So a lot of plants depend on pollination, especially when we talk about the cucurbits. They do depend on pollinators. The Honey what? Bee, the what? The cucurbits, cucumber family, the pumpkins, because they are, they, are, they, they are designed with a male and a female flower in separate pla- parts of the plant. Oh, okay. So they need something, some insect to, uh, germinate to, take, to take the pollen from the male and put it into the female flower. On the same plant? On the same plant. I'm learning. Thank you for that. All right, so... Um, how does the apiculture unit figure in all of this? What essentially is your role? All right. Our role is to conduct research, conduct regulatory activities, and most of all, we do extension work in beekeeping. So we do train the farmers. Uh, we train them in beekeeping at the Ministry of um, Industry, Commerce, and Agriculture at the research station in Old Harbor. Every last Thursday of the month, we do keep a training session for new investors in beekeeping. So we do a lot of training um, to increase the number of bees, increase the bee population, and also increase the production for um, to meet the national demand for honey. All right. I'm, I'm really eager now to get to some of these value-added products. I mentioned the honey wine earlier. What are some of the other value-added products in which honey is an essential ingredient? Uh, you have honey has been put into sauces. It can also be used in fermentation to make beers. Um, Honey is used as a sweetener. So most of the the products that require sweetener, then honey can be substituted for the general sugar that is used. Um, Honey is considered to be equipped with uh, various sugars or simple sugars that the body can easily uh, absorb. I'm not a medical person, but based on what has been uh, proposed from the medical field, then honey plays a great role in the health of the population. Great. And now we hear about honey wine. <laughs> All right. Honey wine is um, being promoted by the apiculture unit um, because there are many wines on the market. Now, some of these wines are imported product. We have honey here. That honey can be fermented. Um, can be You can ha- add water to the honey at a certain proportion, add a yeast, add other nutrients to the the, the batch, and within six months, you have a wine that is consumable. But for best practice, 
uh, sometimes these wines will take you up to a year for um, full market, for it to be ready for the market. So we do join with agencies like RADA, 4-H, to promote the whole development of um, honey wine as a opportunity for investment for the local industry. If we use some of our honey in, in, in wine production, it increases the, 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 the demand for the honey and also gives us an opportunity to increase the production to meet that increase in demand. So honey wine is really a valuable product. It's not difficult to make, but you have to um, have the necessary food practices um, that will make sure that the consumer is protected so you have a safe food for our consumer. So this is really what we are promoting um, we would like to see an investor or investors um, take up the opportunity to make this more commercially available to the local population. So hopefully we'll see honey wine as a basic product being consumed by every community across Jamaica. And, and I'd imagine, Mr. Smith, that the small cottage industry honey producers could get in touch with the ministry and perhaps get information on how to uh, manufacture the honey wine. Well, we would provide them with basic information on the wine production. However, you have other agencies that are quite equipped to um, do training in terms of wine production. Um, but this is something that we are promoting. We'd like to see that commercial um, level in which wine or mead is taken off. Uh, we have a few cottage uh, industries that are involved in uh, wine production at this time. So we'd also like to see the consumption or the, the use of the honey wine that is now being produced by the cottage industry at this time. Is it a sweeter wine? Um, the taste of the wine is dependent on what you do to it. So you can have a medium wine, you can have a dry wine, or you can have a sweet wine. So all in your processing will determine the output that you get. What does the future really look like for honey wine? Um, it's exciting. It's exciting. Um, but just that, one, some of the persons who are producing at this time, they also require promotion to get the, the product into the, the consumer's arms. And also, we also need to increase the production of the honey wine for the Jamaica market. Um, it was one of those products that was once exported. Uh, but the sole producer at that time is no longer with us. And so far, we are only having probably a few persons who may be involved in the export trade. But we don't want to keep honey wine as a secret. We want to tell investors that, yes, you can come in, invest in honey wine, and increase our national production, um, increase the use of honey, use, and that will make the beekeeping industry more profitable at the end. Mm -hmm. So wherever you can use bee products, increase the value of the bee products, um, to meet national demand, we'll even reduce what we'll be, we are importing at this time. Perhaps we can also look to exporting the product. You know, Jamaica is a brand that's internationally recognized. And no doubt uh, the tropical plants that we have, if we have that kind of wine made from the honey coming from local plants, then who knows? It could be another takeoff for us. Right. It's, it's, it's really important that we have investors in this area. Yeah. Um, of making honey wine. So we could take off in terms of national production for honey wine or mead um, and even for it to capture a large space on the international market. Quite so. Thank you so much, Mr. Smith. And uh, all the best in your honey wine from the ministry's end. Uh, I hope you get a lot of response following uh, this discussion this morning. All right, thank you very much, and uh, we hope our listeners will look to Honey Wine as a new product or a product that should be utilized. All right, thanks again, Mr. Hugh Smith, Chief Plant Protection Officer of the Apiculture Unit in the Ministry, telling us about the Honey Wine and uh, part of our AgroBuzz. 
as we continue to encourage you to grow what we eat and eat what we grow as agriculture helps us all to secure our future. I want to end with the plant quarantine tip and uh, the tip for today. Importers are being reminded that imported plant products must be inspected before release. Imports must make importers, that is, must make an appointment for inspection at least 24 hours in advance. And the following documents must be presented at the time of inspection. You must have the original import permit, the original phytosanitary certificate, a copy of the invoice, the bill of laden or airway bill, and the inspection fee receipt. So keep listening to Agribuzz for more information on the work of the Minister of Industry, Commerce, Agriculture, and Fisheries. And please, you can visit the website at mycaf, M-I-C-A-F dot gov dot J-M. Don't forget, you can also follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. And we'll catch you again next Wednesday.